Low profile dust deputy and the dust stopper. Let's have a shootout. I was online a couple weeks ago and I saw this low profile Oneida dust deputy. It's something brand new and I thought, man, that's pretty cool. So I started looking at it and they claim that it'll do a 50% more CFM than a competitor. Well, if you look real close, these look kind of close and similar. And so I'm assuming this is a competitor and it says up to 50% more CFM. So let's try it. Let's get this thing unboxed and and I'll show you all that and let's go. This is the low profile Oneida. I saw it, it's a brand new and so I got it. I got the deluxe kit, you don't need the deluxe kit. Uh, you can get just this top part and as you can see it looks a lot like that one. So I thought, hey, let's do a comparison. So let me get all this un, uh, out of this and then we'll see what we have. What we get in here is some wheel assemblies. We're not gonna do that today. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. Uh, we get this this hose that goes to your shop vac. We get two fittings, one that goes to the shop vac, one that goes to the top of this thing. We're going to use these. And there's a seal that goes underneath the lid. And then there's an anti-static thing, and I'll show you that. Here's the seal they send with it. It's got a sticky back on it. It's going to go all the way around there. And then you got this metal tape. It's going to go from here to here, and then from here to here. Uh, controversial whether people think this works or not, but it's here and I'm gonna use it. So. Here we go, that was pretty easy. Just put it in there, go around, and it's gonna go down underneath there. This uh, rubber seal's on the bottom. There's one that goes all the way around the bottom and then there's one that goes around the side. It's pretty obvious how it goes, so. Let's start messing with these things. I did jump the gun and I put this, this rubber stuff in there before I put this on. So how this works is this, obviously I need to do it again, but I need to pull that rubber back because obviously I was, I jumped the gun. So that screw is going to go in there like that and pop through there. This metal thing is going to go on there like that. It's going to fit, fit on there and go over there. You have your little washer and your wing nut and it's going to look just like that and i'll get them back on there i'll get this other one on there and it'll show you how it clips on it's pretty easy easy peasy now all the boring stuff is over with we're going to go ahead i'm going to show you the vacuum we're going to use on both of them i cleaned it out i put a new filter in and here it is this is a rigid 10 gallon six horsepower i have a bigger one than this but if you're using a bucket you don't need all this volume and you can actually have the, the smallest vacuum you can get with the most horsepower. So that's what I have here. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and we're gonna measure airflow straight from, from the port right here. So let me get this hooked up. Pretty easy here, the elbows that come with it. Put them on there. You can have hose clamps, but I'm just gonna hook it up for this. And there we go. So let me move this over a little bit so we can have our little experiment going on right here. This is an anemometer. It's hard to say, but it's a useful tool. You have to put in your calculations in here for the different size pipe you're gonna use or whatever. Uh, I think I've done that right, but if I haven't, I apologize. But we're gonna be able to see the difference. We're gonna see how much it, the rigid vac has straight from the tap. And then we're gonna see uh, how much it loses when it goes to the cyclones, and then we're going to see the difference between each cyclone. So let's going to do this right now, just straight from the rigid. We measured the CFN directly from the vacuum. I was kind of wondering, I was kind of curious how much it loses just through using this hose right here. So let's try that. Looks like 133. 
So it loses about 50 CFM through this hose. That's interesting. First up is the dust stopper. We're gonna see what it runs. Let's go, straight from the tap. That's it. Next up, it'd be, no, I don't have a seal around here. This didn't come with one. I didn't put it on there. So this is how it comes. So I was wondering what the difference would be. So I put a weather seal around the top of this bucket and we have it sealed. So let's go and see what the difference is. <laughs> Low profile dust deputy, here we go. We're about to show you how well these pick up dirt, but let's go over the numbers real quick. The vac by itself was 182 CFM. That the vac with a hose was 133, so it loses quite a bit by just by putting a hose on it. The dust stopper was 84, and the dust deputy low profile was 108. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Once again, you got an anemometer; it has to be set up. It's uh, it's kind of hot in here right now. All the conditions, I'm sure when they're, when they are tested from the factory, it's all perfect conditions, but it's quite a substantial difference with this. So let's uh, suck up some dirt. We're gonna go ahead and suck this dirt up. This is out of a bandsaw. It's a lot of resin and uh, wood, stabilized wood. So there's lots of different kind of stuff in there. Some medium, some fine, some coarse. So we're gonna go ahead and suck this up and then look in the vacuum to see what kind of, uh, see what made it to the filter. Here's the dust deputy. <laughs> Yep, just like I thought, nothing's there. All right, let's see how this one did. That's clean, <laughs> it is super clean. There's our comparison, we did a CFM test and I even went and put some weather stripping on this one too, just as, to try to make it as fair as possible. Uh, these are about $10 difference if you just buy the top. If you buy this one with the lid and everything, it, it's, uh, it's expensive, but it comes with the wheels and the hose and, and all that other stuff. It's pretty small sample size with the stuff that we sucked up into the vacuum. So um, I would expect that both of these would do pretty good and not leaving anything in the vacuum at this point. But it's up for you. I'll let the numbers speak for themselves. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like. Uh, send me some comments down below. Maybe something I didn't think of. So we'll see y'all next time and y'all be good.